I'm Rob from Barefoot Gaming and today I'll be seeing if House Flipper VR is worth your time. Let's do this. The general premise of the game has you choose between two different modes. In one you can choose a job to do, which may involve some cleanup or furniture purchasing and decorating, perhaps some spray painting, or just buying groceries to restock the fridge. In the second mode, you can take your earnings and buy a house that is in rough shape to fix up and to resell. All of the tasks are accomplished by using tools hanging off of your belt. So for example, if you want to clean up garbage, you grab the garbage cleaner upper tool and point it and click at what you want to make disappear. If you want to remove dirt from the floor or graffiti from the wall, for example, grab your broom and sweep it away. Now paint you purchase and attach to your spray paint tool and point it where you want to paint and pull the trigger. Kind of Microsoft Paint-esque. And of course, just like in the real world, if you want to remove paint from a wall, you grab your trusty hammer and you knock it right off of the wall. Your objectives for each room appear in the middle of the room. And by clicking your watch on your right hand, you can see what is required, either a list of furniture or tasks or both. Clicking on the watch on your left hand brings you to the store where you can do your shopping and that's the gist. However, I should also mention that you can upgrade your tools with experience you earn doing tasks, making it so you don't have to like rage sweep as much to get all the dirt, or you can paint a larger space, etc, etc. The game utilizes snap turning, teleport, and room scale, but if you want, you can turn on smooth locomotion, and it goes for around the $20 US mark. But is it a good time, and is it worth your money? So here's the thing. I wanted to like this game. It doesn't have to be realistic to be fun. It just has to be fun to be fun. And this game, well, it feels like a chore to me. Grocery shopping? Really? I have to buy an egg and put it in your fridge? On top of that, the game doesn't care how you lay out the furniture that you buy, which I can understand would be complicated for coding. But sometimes the snap to position works so poorly that getting furniture to fit where you want is a pain even though it doesn't look like space is an issue. For example, one job had me install a bunch of kitchen cabinets and a fridge. There was just enough room for all the pieces that the customer had requested, but instead of popping it where I wanted, the game moved it ever so slightly or clipped into the wall, and it either moved the cabinets either back to the store where I purchased it from, or where I had left it on the floor prior. I got so frustrated I just threw all of them on a pile in the middle of the room and succeeded the mission. Painting is another goofy issue where if you stand too close to the wall, in the corners especially, you can paint the room on the other side. The lack of furniture is, well it's lacking. Five or six tables, four or five toys, but even then maneuvering the menu system is not as easy as it should be, so having more furniture would make it a bigger hassle to find the exact item you need to restock the fridge with. But if you're excited to decorate the houses for resale, you're going to get pretty tired of the four different types of chairs. I don't recommend this game. To me, it doesn't feel intuitive control-wise. I don't get satisfaction from cleaning and redecorating an empty virtual house with extremely limited choices of what I can decorate it with. And I have no interest in ever loading this game up again. Now I know. And I guess now so do you. That, friends, is another Barefoot Gaming review. Share this video if you want to show others and save them from the mistakes that I have made by playing it. Like the video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you again so much for watching another Barefoot Gaming Review and I will talk to you again really, really soon. See ya.